I think we all get to a point where there's a fork in the road and we got to choose left or right. And, um, and that choice is going to determine our goals and our vision and where we want to go. My early days of business ownership, I, I just kind of followed the lead of my, my old boss. He um, kind of did everything. And I just kind of like figured since he was successful, I'm just going to do what he did. Um, and I think after a while, there was this epiphany that I had. I was meeting my dad for breakfast and it, it was a rough season. And I just told my dad, I said, you know, I, I became a business owner because I wanted to provide freedom. I wanted to be with my family. And I said, that's a farce. That doesn't exist. Like I'm working harder now, making less money than if I was just an employee. For me, burnout was just simply spinning my wheels and feeling like there was so much work to be done. And just like most entrepreneurs, we just put it on our backs and we go. And we just say, I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna work longer, I'm gonna get more efficient. Um, I'm just going to, going to do more. And eventually what happened was that I, I came to this realization, I can't do anymore. I wasn't gonna be able to do everything that I needed to do if I was gonna focus solely on doing everything in the business. It was gonna come at a significant cost, which would have been uh, my marriage, which would have been my family, and that was just not, I was not willing to pay that price. If I'm going to be the husband that I'm called to be, if I'm going to be the father that, that I desire to be, something needs to change. And if I was going to grow the company, which we had goals to do, um, I was gonna to have to uh, pick a lane. God called me to be the best business owner I could be, and he gave me a business to run. I realized that I can't do anything more in addition to. It needs to be done instead of. That means I had to set things down to pick other things up. I hired people to set things down with, um, trained them how to do it, and then picked up the things that I needed to focus on. In my search for freedom, I did eventually find it through delegation. Freedom is the fact that your business can run without you present, without you there. Bringing the right teammates on has really improved our, our, the scope of my vision, expanded it, because I realized with the right team members and the right delegation, um, the sky's the limit. I started the process of delegation by realizing that uh, if I can't be the best technician out there, then I need to hire the best technician out there. And that's, I think that's the key. The key is surrounding yourself with people who can do it better than you can. I started doing the time study and I documented my day from when I walked through the door to when I went home. And what I found was that as much as I wanted to help customers and, and take a, a number of repair orders, I realized that that was a big time commitment. Looking at my own journey, there was a couple reasons why I struggled to delegate. One of them was, was ego, and I felt like I needed to be the best at that position in the company. The other thing was quality control. I, I knew the, the level of quality that I wanted to uh, have the customer experience, and I struggled with trying to find people that were in alignment with those goals. And it really what it boils down to is it's not the individual. How much training did we give that person? How do we set that person up for success? I think God has a plan and a purpose and a calling for our life, and we need to be faithful to that. There's so many things that can come in that can be a distraction that call us away from that. And that's when we try to take on too much, try to do too much, and fill our day with, with activities and actions when we should be staying in our lane and focusing on what God has called us to do.